Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another amazing course titled Spring Boot Rabbit MQ course. Well, what you will learn in this course? We'll begin with understanding the fundamentals of Rabbit MQ. First, we'll understand Rabbit MQ core concepts and Rabbit MQ architecture, such as we'll understand what is producer, what is consumer, what is queue, what is exchange, what is binding, what is routing key, and then what is message. Once we'll understand all these RabbitMQ core concepts, next we'll understand RabbitMQ architecture. Well, in a RabbitMQ architecture, basically we have a multiple components. Like we have producer, it will send a message to the RabbitMQ broker. And then we have consumer, it will consume that message from the RabbitMQ broker. We'll start with understanding all these RabbitMQ core concepts and architecture. Next, we'll learn how to integrate RabbitMQ in a Spring Boot project using Spring AMQP library. Well, Spring provides Spring AMQP library, which we can use to integrate RabbitMQ in a Spring Boot project. Well, here AMQP stands for Advanced Message Queuing Protocol, and RabbitMQ basically uses this protocol for messaging purpose. Well, once you learn how to connect your Spring Boot application with RabbitMQ server, Next, you will learn how to configure all these RabbitMQ components in a Spring Boot application. Well, you will learn how to configure queue exchange, binding between queue and exchange, you know, producer, consumer. All right. So you will learn how to configure all these RabbitMQ components in a Spring Boot application. Next, you will learn how to use message of type string for a communication between producer and consumer using RabbitMQ broker in a Spring Boot application. Next, you will learn how to use a message of type JSON for a communication between producer and consumer using RabbitMQ in a Spring Boot project. Well, in real-time project, we basically use a JSON message, you know, for the communication between producer and consumer, right? So in this course, you will also learn how to use a message of type JSON for a communication between producer and consumer using RabbitMQ in a Spring Boot project. Next, you will learn how to create a multiple queues in a RabbitMQ architecture. All right, so if you can see this architecture over here, you will learn how to create multiple queues in a RabbitMQ architecture, and you will also learn how to create a multiple consumers, which will subscribe to multiple queues. Okay, so this is a very, very important, and you will learn all this stuff in this course. All right, you will learn a lot about Spring Boot and RabbitMQ in this course. All right, I will see you in the course.